Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And recently, AT&T announces that more FirstNet cell sites are launching nationwide to support public safety. So that's the first responders priority. Of course, with this coverage expansion, the average consumer will also be able to take advantage of that coverage. Just in a time of an emergency, the first responders will have the priority over the average consumer. So this is this is really good for AT&T and of course you guys the, the average consumer cuz you're now heading into areas where you previously didn't have service and you now could potentially have service in these areas. Again, you do, you as the consumer have to make sure that you have a band 14 capable device to take advantage of that new coverage potentially. Now, in the past we've all been kind of worried about AT&T and its coverage because it wasn't expanding. They've had band 12 in their arsenal this whole time, but they really didn't push it. There was still a lot of HSPA out there. But now with this band 14 and the first net contract, they're really pushing the coverage to new limits for AT&T. They're covering areas that they didn't cover before. That was also another worry of people that would AT&T expand beyond their footprint. And that seems to be all cleared up now. We now have indication that AT&T is going to grow past their footprint as we currently know it. And of course, by I want to say 2025, 2026, they want to have most of the United States covered per the contract. Um, that first net contract was really big for AT&T to get them motivated to push the coverage beyond their footprint. Of course, they do get a reimbursement from the government for it. So that's an incentive, but they're still pushing the coverage boundaries on a daily basis. And there's more cities and towns now launched. So I will leave this article in the description down below so you guys can, uh, can check out the areas for yourselves. But I just wanted to let you guys know that the first net rollout is full steam ahead. And it's, there's new sites launching daily. They're going to cover the areas of Nebraska uh, really big. Uh, we've, we've seen the Vermont roll out the 62 uh, cell sites. I talked about that in the video not too long ago. And there's still other areas on the West Coast, the western side of the U.S., the mountainous areas that need to be covered. So that work will be ongoing are they at at their peak right now? Not really. There's still some time left uh, to, to hit that peak. I would say at least another year, year and a half to where we really see at and coverage uh, flourish. Right now, Verizon is ahead in that department, and that is hinting as to why they're ready to shut off the CDMA. They're just much further along. And at the end of this year, Verizon will shut off the CDMA network. AT&T is not quite there yet to cover, uh, to shut off the HSPA network and they've openly discussed that and announced it that they would have you know it would take them till about 2022 to fully shut it off and I think that's a that's a very good time frame um like I said about a year year and a half is where we're going to see it pick up full steam and in some areas they're going to need more density there might be some trees or something that interfere with the, with the signal. Like I've said in plenty of my other videos, LTE is more fragile versus HSPA. So where LTE stops reaching, often HSPA can still push further. And in, these, in this case of them shutting the HSPA off, they will have to build additional cell sites for LTE to, to continue reaching into those areas. So that's just, uh, there's a lot of work ahead for at t lots of investment coming. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys check out this article in the description down below. Maybe you've been waiting for an area to gain service that now has it. So make sure you guys check that out. If you are new to the channel, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. If you have been on the channel, you can go ahead and end this video now. But if you are new, make sure you hit the notification bell on YouTube so you are notified when I do upload the content. Also in the settings, make sure your push notifications are enabled so you do get them on your device. Also, if you have a Twitter, make sure to follow my Twitter. I do post the videos on there as well. So you guys have two platforms to get the notifications from. And this is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.